everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you um, my swap projects that I made for Tracy Savley, and um, this was a Tilda stocking swap, and it's on a Facebook page called Art Attack. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I chose to use, this is Tilda material this one with the flowers and it's called country escape i love it it's like my most favorite um material that tilda has because of the pinks and the oh my gosh it's just so beautiful and this up here i had purchased this one from um joann's and it just went perfectly together so it was like oh it's so pretty and then um and let me just show you a close-up of this amazing material it's so so pretty and um also tracy owns an online shop and it's called art attack supplies and i'll put the link in the description box below and she carries all kinds of of tilda um products as well as all kinds of other products too so um i made this all by myself <laughs> i'm really really proud of myself um i i made two others which one got thrown away because it was just a hot mess and then the second one it came out really good and then um i went with this material because i had ruined the first time around this fabric so I didn't want to do the same thing so I just kept practicing until I got it right so what I did also was I added these little pom-pom trims here which are are adorable and I got those at Joann's as well and I put a little hanger here and I also um there's batting in there and I used this fabric you know as the liner so Tracy I hope you love it um this these are my very first Tilda um projects and um it's it's like like country style um themed and I had a hard time not like totally you know splattering this thing with flowers and fr frills and stuff so I really hope you like it I mean the fabric just says it all it's just so amazing so that is the stocking that I created I'm very very happy with it I hope you love it too Tracy so let me go ahead and share the other things that I created um, I created this darling little heart banner here isn't it so cute and again, I practiced making little hearts, and um, these were the best ones. <laughs> and um, again, just beautiful, beautiful material that I used. I put little bows at the bottom, and I adhered it in the middle. And then there's just these little tabs here, so they can be, you know, hung up in Tracy's room. So that is... The little hearts and also um mm, it smells so good i put some lavender in there so um it has a beautiful beautiful smell so there is that and i want to totally make this for my room too <laughs> that it was so fun to create and it's just so cute so i made that and that's another sewing project that i'm really really proud of and um I also made this too as well for her room and it's another um, like shabby banner and it hangs like that and it's got beautiful material in it and um, I made one of these for my girlfriend Sharon as well and um, I just think these are so so pretty and they look gorgeous like I had put this under an existing picture in my room just to see how it looked you know hanging on the wall but you can really put these anywhere so I thought that was a cute little project I had seen that on Pinterest and um, 
Okay, so the next one is this bag that I created, and this is a glassine bag, and this here is um actually napkins that I bought from Tracy's shop, and it's um the the Country Escape too, and I added some. I, I I've already shown this one you know once on a previous video. So I won't get into too much, you know, details, but I added some pretty lace at the bottom and then this um, just beautiful floral display here with some pretty seam binding. And then I um, added some goodies inside. These are little um, decorations for her tree and again, they're Tilda inspired. So this is just a wooden um piece that I got from Michaels and I just added this beautiful paper on here and this is Tilda paper and it's um the winters from the winters memory stack and then I made this um little flower here out of that Tim Holtz die and I added little flowers and then this fun um pearl spray and then pearls going across and then a little seam binding hanger. So I thought that came out really cute. And then I made this right here, which is another um, tree ornament. And again, I used the same paper. And then I just made this cute little um, doily um, flower and there's just a little blue doily and some lace there's some cheesecloth another doily here a little flower and I put a little birdie in there and then over here I just um, added a cute little bow and then here I um, stickled it I just love this image such pretty paper and that's just the back and I used some eyelash trim for the hanger. So I thought that one came out really cute too. And this, I can't remember. I think that I was gifted that by somebody and I can't remember. So it's actually two pieces. And, you know, I put the paper in the middle and adhered it. And there's paper on the back. Because the paper is actually double-sided. Very, very beautiful paper. Um, so that is those and then I made this one here another um, ornament and this is um, I think I got that at the dollar store and I added um, some oh what is it called I can't remember but it's that like glass stuff and here is a um, this was a an ornament, <clears throat> excuse me, an ornament that I got from Michaels, and I covered it with that um, napkin. You know, I just mod podged it on, and then added the. Um, that's what it is, glamour dust. And then I have these cute little images from the paper collection, the winter memories, and I just added glossy accent on that. So I thought that came out really pretty. So that's another ornament. And then I made this one right here. This was really fun to make. The first one I messed up, I kind of like glued the wrong pieces to the wrong pieces. <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun to create. Again, it's made with the mem uh, Winter Memories paper collection and I added more eyelash trim to that. So that is the paper. Oh, and I just added stickles on the side here. So that's that one. And then and these Tilda, oh my gosh, it's so hard just not to like totally embellish like a maniac like I usually do. This is a three-dimensional star that I created. And um, again, it's done with the Winter Memories. And here are some die cuts from the paper collection. And um, I just added this little flower and then these little um, iridescent leaves. 
very pretty and then I added this trim going up and around the entire thing I got that trim at Joann's and I got this little bow at Joann's as well and it was a button and then I just added string for the hanger so that's that one and that's the back that was a lot of fun to create and the next one is another one that I created by sewing. Isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, I just love this little birdie. Actually, I didn't put a hanger on it. I have to put a hanger on it before I send it. So I just love how this little birdie came out. I saw this pattern and just had to make it because I'm just a bird lover. I love birds, so I'm going to have to make one of these for myself. I used, you know, two different coordinating um, materials and added, <clears throat> excuse me, just little blings for the eyes. So that's how that came out. Very cute. So that I have to put aside and put a hanger on it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is another Tilda ornament. And this die I got from, I can't pronounce the name of the shop, but I will put the link below. Um, this also comes, you know the bow cards that I make? Actually, th this is the bow card. Well, this here is from the same shop, okay? So I just loved it when I saw it in the shop. Isn't that so cute? And I just added um, some of this, you know, plastic stuff, it, you know, so it, you know, was um, like, you know, a true lantern. And then inside you can see the little um, cherub and she is from the paper collection. She's a little die cut that comes in the paper collection. And then I added some of that um, iridescent um, stuff that you get for Christmas, like to put on the tree and stuff. And the paper here is again from the same collection. Here's another die cut, as well as this beautiful flower here. I am so sorry for the glare. And here's another die cut as well from the um, paper collection. I did this um, bow here. I just took some of this mesh material and kind of wound some of this um, tinsel around it. So pretty. And then I had the tinsel going around all four corners and then kind of just made a little... Um, you know tail at the end and this I had gotten this tinsel stuff from um, I think it was TJ Maxx a few years ago and I still have more or was it Michaels I can't remember it might have been Michaels and yeah I think I think so a couple years ago so that is that one and I love how this one turned out too okay so then my next one is this little heart very cute it's a little wooden heart and this is that same um napkin you know i just mod podged it all add added some glitter added a little hanger here and then these cute little flowers very pretty and then i just have some pearls and little berries in there and some pretty leaves and I put a, a, a little bit of cheesecloth behind there so I think that came out really super cute too as a Tilda ornament and then this one here <clears throat> I created and this is the top of a, a box it was a little round box that I bought from um, Hobby Lobby and the bottom of the box I used for something else. So I use this as a you know little shadow box. And the paper in there is from the same collection. And I added this pretty little cherub and added some glitter. And then there's some beautiful flowers here. Very pretty. 
I may have gone a little overboard with these embellishments, um, <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. And then I added these little jingle bells here. I just attached them to some seam binding, and I added little flowers, you know, on those. And then I had glued it on one of these um, snowflakes that I got from the dollar the um, dollar store. And then around it, I had put this beautiful um, tinsel. Very pretty. I really love how that turned out. So that is the last um, ornament. And then I made this here, which is a cracker box. And I haven't filled it yet. So um, I, wa I wanted to wait to the very end because I want to put chocolate in it and I just, you know, I want the chocolate to be fresh. So what you do is you, you just take your ends like this and, um, you know, you can put tinsel around it or whatever to close them up and then you just untie it and inside is your, is your goodie. And again, this is the beautiful paper from that same collection, The Winter Memories. I just love it. Very, very beautiful. So that will be filled and sent with some yummies. And then the last thing I created was this bow card. And these are just so much fun to make. I just love them. So this is another um, Tilda inspired. And all of these die cuts here are from the paper collection. I love the deer. She is just so beautiful. And then here's a pine cone one. And I put that behind there. And I put the beautiful cherub. And then one of the flowers. And then this one here, I put the pine cones. And then another one of the flower ones. And up here, I just mimicked the other side. And this paper is from Kitty Scrap Post. Very beautiful, and it made and it matched these perfectly. So that is my card, and my camera's going to stop any second. So I'm going to stop it myself. Okay, so this is the card that I made, and um, Tracy, I hope you love everything that I created. I had so much fun. With this Tilda swap, these, like I said, are my very first um, Tilda-inspired um, project. So I'm really happy how they came out, and I hope you love everything. And um, like I said, this was a super, super fun swap. And um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll put Tracy's YouTube channel in the link below as well as the link to her um, her online shop or attack where she has beautiful stuff. So thanks everybody for watching and um, take care, be safe. Bye bye.